good morning, good afternoon, good evening, growth team from wherever you are watching us from. Welcome back to this channel, Career Growth with Karen, where we have empowering conversations regarding our careers. And this is where we want to have rewarding careers, fulfilling, satisfying, and even progressive careers. So if that is what you're looking for, then guess what? You are in the right place. My name is Karen Olege. I am a career strategist and coach, and welcome to today's episode. Today's episode is part two on how to be distinctive or how to stand out at your job. So remember, we did part one three weeks ago. So this is part two of that episode. And I will be sharing with you three more tips on how to stand out at your job. If you haven't watched part one, please go three weeks back and watch uh, what we did for part one and then come back to this episode and watch part two. And then stay tuned for the next one for part three. So let's get started. This is Career Growth with Karen. All right. So today, as I have mentioned, we are talking about how to stand out at your job. And this is part two. In the first uh, part, I shared um, three tips. And today, I will be sharing three tips as well. Remember, guys, in your job, it is not just about being there. It's about being outstanding. It's a competition everywhere, and we have to accept it. There is always somebody who wants the next position, the promotion, the perks, the the nice things that are coming with that job and it is not everyone who will get it so how about you figure out how you can be outstanding in your job so that it is a no-brainer when we are looking for the next person to promote in your department so uh, i will be sharing today uh three more tips so i don't know whether to say tip number one or tip number five because in the other episode i had shared four so let me just uh share three more so uh the first tip that i will share today is work on your visibility work on your visibility in your office let everybody know you guys you do not thrive by people not knowing you you cannot be a silent mover and stand out in your office and that one i will tell you for free because we don't want to struggle to be able to know who you are we want to know you obviously so work on your visibility some of us are very good at our jobs but we are not very good at showcasing our jobs and i had that problem when i started my employment i used to tell myself i don't need to shout about what i'm doing my work will speak for itself lie in fact it is a big scam your work does not speak for itself you speak for your work you do your work and you speak about it so please work on your visibility be present in groups and in committees don't just focus on the work alone what you're hired to do when there is a committee planning christmas party please be part of them when there, there is a group working on a new project we have now a new project where we are migrating to a certain system please be part of it. When we are planning for a, a staff fan day, please be part of uh, such committees that are always coming up. Why? Because it helps you uh, make more networks and more known people in your organization and more people can see your skill. If you're an organized person, everybody gets to know that. Now it's not only your department that knows you're organized, it's everybody in the organization that knows you're organized. So you're giving yourself visibility in the organization. That is another way of standing out. And that is why in some companies, there are some common names. When you go there, there are some people who are popular. Everybody knows them. But they're just in one department. They're just in finance like you or in marketing like you. But they have stood out because they have been visible to the entire organization. The other tip that I will share, network, network, network. Make friends internally. Network within your office. Don't just assume that because you work in this office, you have networked with everybody there. No. And that is why you find in most cases, when you leave your job, your current job, and you go to another employer, rarely do we maintain contacts and connections with the previous people that we worked with. Why? Because we were merely colleagues. We never networked um, with them beyond work level to actually a personal level where they are a personal friend and they are a personal connection that you can even uh, talk to and uh, connect with even after you are done with your employment in that place. So make some friends intentionally. Have some conversation starters. Some of you also when you go for these Christmas parties and all these office events, you're just all by yourself. You don't even know how to talk to your colleagues when it is something not to do with work learn some conversation starters and be good at small talk i know it sucks small talk sucks for many people it used to suck for me as well but i had to learn some conversation starters because i realized 
from time to time i am in a space where there are other people around me that are not necessarily people i am familiar with and i need to be able to hold a conversation with them that is meaningful and that will commit me to their memory the third and last tip that i will share for today is check out what opportunities are, are available within your organization and what it takes to to be in those opportunities and this kind of like ties up with the first point i mentioned about visibility find out which opportunities there are and be willing to participate in those opportunities now there are people in offices where when you recruit a job and you feel when you uh, advertise a role and you feel it for example i'm looking for a procurement uh, specialist i advertise for the job and by the time i'm recruiting this person that is when there's someone saying oh this position you mean it was vacant oh my gosh, I would have applied. And this is somebody internal in the organization. And they're asking, why did you Why did you advertise externally? But you see, they did not even know. When the advert was up for two weeks, three weeks, they were not aware. So find out the opportunities that are available. You as a staff, visit your own website severally in a week. Yeah, and I know this is something we rarely do. If I work for Organization X, I am rarely in, there, in, in our own website. Please go and check because opportunities are still being advertised there opportunities of growth and there are people who will come from outside and come and fill uh, positions internally which would have been good for you yeah but you because you did not know that the opportunity is there you did not even bother there are some of us who we work in companies that are um, that have several offices for example in kenya and other countries or even within kenya there are offices in different towns and one day maybe you want to go and work in kisumu when kisumu is advertising for a role you you're not even aware you don't know and one day you just find the role has been filled and you're wondering how come i didn't even know about the, this vacancy this particular uh, vacancy of this position i would have applied and that's how we miss out on opportunities so get to know the opportunities that are there internally when it's to do with promotion when it's to do with we are opening a new office somewhere or a new branch when it is opportunities to do with we are taking people for training we are taking people for a workshop for an exposure somewhere get to know about these opportunities and plug yourself in or get to find out what will it take me for me to fit into this opportunity and then start working towards it so those are some of the ways in which you can stand out in your job look out for the next episode where we will be sharing the final three tips which will be part three of how to stand out or how to be distinctive at your job that is all i have for us today growth team of course as usual in the comment section what do you do you need to give us your experiences on how you stood out or how you didn't stand out comment on what i have shared let me know if it, if it works or if it does not work remember i'm not perfect i'm only sharing what i know and it is for us to talk about it please subscribe to this ch channel like the content if you like it share the content to all your friends all your relatives all your networks and let all of them benefit from this very nice and insightful content and until next time see you